Okay, let's switch to Eclipse and take a look at some of the code behind these new features. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the uh, CMYS folder component first. Uh, it's a web script and this is the descriptor file. Um, the slight change from the previous version of the browser is that we now have two versions of the URL. We have one which is the one we had before and we now have one which adds in this URL template argument for the connection ID. If we take a look at the controller for the folder we get hold of the CMYS connection through this helper here and we give the helper the connection name that was provided on the URL and once we have the connection we then have access to the OpenCMIS section which then gives us the ability to uh, perform operations such as retrieving objects and queries in this case we're getting an object and we're creating an object ID based on the object ID provided on the URL the uh, template for this uh, folder browser is as before so all it does is primarily just iterate through the folder children and then render the appropriate uh, properties and URL links that allow us to navigate up and down let's take a look at the uh, query component next so this is the web script descriptor for the query component um, basically we provide arguments such as the statement we want to execute, the skip count and the maximum number of items to return for that particular uh, query and we have two forms of the URL, one without the connection ID and one with the connection ID. If we take a look at the controller script as before we get hold of the connection using the connection name that's provided on the URL. Um, by the way if you issue this, uh, if you try and call this component and you're not yet authenticated the basic HTTP authentication will uh, kick in and you'll log in first and it's the login that creates the connection. The query component extracts the arguments off of the URL and then through the OpenCMIS connection issues a query given the statement. We also have some very convenient methods that allow you to skip to a particular point in the query results and also get a page of a given size. Once we have that we can then provide that page of items to the query uh, rendering template and that just simply iterates over that uh, set of rows and for each row displays the properties that are found on that row. We also render links that allow us to go forward and backwards through the result set and all that does is basically increment and decrement the skip count. Okay let's now go to the connections component. The connections component uh, has a very simple URL um, so that's the wrong component. The connections component has a very simple URL mapping just to CMYS connections and in its controller what it does is it uses a helper method to get hold of a connection manager. The connection manager gives you a list of available servers that you can connect to and also a list of the current connections that are that are currently established. Let's just take a quick look at the connection manager interface. Was, as well as providing methods for getting connections and getting a connection by name and getting a server by name, it also allows you to create a connection. So you give the connection a name and you give it a username and password um, or you can give it also a repository ID and this uh, uses the um, predefined server list 
in order to establish the actual connection details to the repository such as its um, URL or web service uh, endpoints. Okay, so that gives you a flavor of some of the changes to the implementation of the components um, so that you can take into account multiple connections. Okay, what's next for the Open Spring Surf and OpenSeamus integration? Well, the next thing we'd like to do is we'd like to integrate the APIs you've seen so far into Spring Surf pages. Currently, they're only available to the web script layer. We'd also like to add components that allow you to work with CMS objects, for example, edit their properties, check them out and check them in. And we'd also like to fill out um, the components so that they cover all of the CMIS capabilities, for example, to be able to browse the version history uh, and also browse the type hierarchy. OK, so here's some information about where, about where you can find Spring Surf and OpenCMIS. If you'd like to help contribute to this integration or build out some components of your own, then please feel free to contact me. Thank you very much for watching.